What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Phase 19 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to edit Blackmagic raw footage because in previous versions, you would always get the audio. So over the past couple 20 to 21 months, I've actually been writing my own album, which the first single also, by the way, guys, is now out everywhere on Spotify, iTunes, Apple, the whole thing. The link is down in the description. So when I was actually recording that album, I also wanted to document everything. And in documentary that's releasing, I'm not really sure, maybe next year or the year after, but that's basically also partly shot on a black magic camera now I also wanted to import that footage to take some stills out for example for Instagram and I only saw the audio in Vegas Pro 18 and other versions as well meaning that you there was a certain codec that wasn't in Vegas Pro versions until now guys right now I'm gonna show you exactly how to finally import and edit black magic raw footage so if you guys are excited make sure to hit the like button down below also make sure to subscribe to the channel for more of Vegas Pro 19 tutorials I've been so inconsistent consistent with uploading just because the album takes so much time and I have also different videos to add for different channels and different companies but right now guys we're gonna stick back to our three to four week upload schedule so with that all the way let's go ahead and get started right after the intro Alright guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 19, we are finally able to edit Blackmagic raw footage because last year I made a video about that you, if you drag in Blackmagic footage from that Blackmagic you know, type of camera, you will only get the audio and I found a way back then to first convert your Blackmagic file into an MP4 that Vegas Pro was able to read back then. But of course with this brand new version, they are now able to go ahead and read this actual format. So right Right now I have a clip from last year that was shot on a Blackmagic camera, so I'm gonna drag that in right now. In this folder it says Blackmagic raw clip, it has this .braw format. So we're gonna drag that into Vegas, and as you can see right here on the very right, it also includes video looking very, very nicely. So right now as you can see this is a clip from last year when I was recording or just practicing one of the upcoming songs from the album. So that looks really, really cool. So this clip is of course graded just a little bit, but to actually make this a lot more smoother and to edit this properly, I'm going to right click on this clip. I'm going to hit properties at the very bottom. And then we're gonna hit the disable resample and uncheck the maintain aspect ratio, just like that. And then we can actually start color grading. So I'm going to press Alt G on my keyboard. That's gonna bring up this renewed color grading panel at the very bottom. And that will actually will have our also our vector scope that we can just make sure to adjust to how we want it. So then if you drag this preview, just a little bit taller, just like that. We can now properly color grade our clip right here. So I think for this clip, a little bit more blue tones would actually be a lot more cool. We actually think that the gamma would be a little bit more of a better choice to not overgrade it a little bit. So let's go and drag this a little more to the blue side. So now that we've done that, we can also import LUT filters right here on the very bottom left. So now we can choose our LUT filter. So let's go and pick this one, for example. It looks really, really cool. We can browse through the menu to see which kind of LUT filters would fit the actual best. This one is a little bit too dark. So let's go ahead and browse around a little bit which kind of LUT filter would look the best. So I think this LUT filter looks very, very nice. The contrast is also brought up a lot with the saturation as well. So let's go and play it back right now. So as you can see, it's a little bit laggy, as you notice, and that's basically because this file is really, really heavy. Because this file is only 27 seconds, as you notice right here. It's almost one gigabyte big. It's crazy. For not even half a minute, we have about 700 megabytes, and that's because this quality is so, so insanely good that it's needing a lot of different quality. This one is also shot in 4K. If you look at the project settings, it is 4096 by 2160. 25 frames and that is the full quality that we shot it in so right here we also have our vector scope 
that we can just look and if you color grade it, it will actually, you know, pop up right here as well. It is very cool that now Vegas Pro 19 is finally able to read B-RAW footage. You don't have to go in and convert your B-RAW clips first to MP4, for example, instead of B-RAW, just to drag it in. That was actually the case last year and now we are able to just drag it in real simple with our video. It is a really short video, guys. This is basically how to do it, how to apply a little bit of color grading to it. But of course, if you have B-Log or S-Log, you can just have a lot more options when it comes to color grading. But this one is already graded, so I wouldn't really apply a LUT filter on it. I would actually bring up the saturation a little bit, a really, really tiny bit of black, really store, and just a tiny bit of contrast as well. And then this clip is pretty much good to go. So this is how to edit Blackmagic raw footage in Vegas Pro 19. I'm so glad they finally got the Kodak in their hands to be able to read these B-RAW footage also when it comes to video and that is how cool and amazing it is. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. This is how you edit black magic raw footage, how to import it because of course like I mentioned in the intro, this codec was missing in all the previous versions. I think for this version, Magix just decided like, alright, let's get this license thingy over with so people with black magic cameras can also finally edit in Vegas Pro 19. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel to not miss out any more of these videos and by the way guys my album is releasing on october 15th make sure to check out the first single that released on september 15th the link is down in the description to my spotify page so make sure to also drop a follow there as well and i'll see you guys obviously in the next video